Welcome to Mesro. Uh, thank you all for coming tonight, and thank you for those who are joining us at home. Uh, just a quick reminder to our guests here in the listening room, just please keep your voices to a minimum. Uh, but that being said, please help me welcome this lovely band to the stage. Tonight on bass, we have Tyrone Allen. <laughs> on drums, we have Kush Avene. And leading this trio tonight on piano is Sullivan Fortner. Woo! He sounds like a game show. <laughs> Sullivan Fortner. That's pretty good. <laughs> Got a little feedback in the moon. I don't know what that is, but we'll try to avoid the note. It's E flat. E, E natural. E. Yeah, that's what that is. One of in between. We're gonna play uh, some stuff now.
idea of what's happening tonight. Um, we're going to do some Christmas stuff. And uh, pardon me if things get a little emotional up here for me. Because today would have been the 92nd birthday of Mr. Barry Harris. And unfortunately, today um, we will not be celebrating his birthday. Instead, we will be celebrating his life in the morning at Abyssinia Baptist Church for his funeral. Um, I'll probably stop and tell a bunch of stories. I have a lot of stories about this man. Um, he was very, very special in our community, and he would be greatly missed. So I thought it would be fitting to start our set with Charlie Parker, who he deemed was the greatest musician to ever walk the face of the earth. And I am also in agreement of that. And uh, I did a little Christmas thing, the overture of Handel's Messiah. We'll probably go back and review that oratorio throughout the next two sets. And uh, that last tune was a Bud Powell composition, who was the greatest piano player in his world. And I agree, one of them. Um, that was a tune entitled Oblivion. Um, shall we go Christmas, or shall we keep going in the vein of Barry Harris? Barry Harris. You pick. Okay. <laughs> Barry Harris. Let's do Con Elma. And let's do it at a tempo that he did it at, um, which was very, which is a very difficult tempo. And uh, we'll go from there. Thank you all.
Allen on the bass. Chris Abaday on the drums. So I, um, I'll tell you a funny story. Um, it was um, January 2015 until May of 2015, I did uh, I did some teaching at Oberlin Conservatory of Music in Ohio, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah my alma mater. And um, word got out to Barry that I was out there teaching. And so I had like a week off and I came to one of his classes the week that I had off on a Tuesday. And he was like, where you been? <laughs> First of all, he never got my name right. So my name is Sullivan. He always called me Solomon. <laughs> and basically, basically everybody from the everybody in Detroit, no offense, gets my name wrong. So Johnny O'Neill, Marcus Belgrave, all the, all the teachers that I had in Detroit, for some reason or other, they get my name wrong. So anyway, he doesn't know me by Sullivan. I just too. He doesn't know me by Sullivan. He knows me as Solomon, right? So he said, where you been? I said, I've, I've been teaching. He said, nah, you know your ass ain't supposed to be teaching nowhere. <laughs> You're supposed to be right here with me. And I said, you are absolutely right, but I need some money. <laughs> he said, well, we all got to make money every now and then. That's the rated PG-13 version of what he actually said. <laughs> Um, just a funny story that I give you. Um, let's do a uh, Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> How about it?
Christmas. Thank you. 
care. Just wait to talk to
two on the inside right here. I will be seeing someone on the outside as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Good evening, everyone. How are we doing tonight? Thank you all for coming. Uh, welcome to Mesro, and thank you for those who are joining us from home. Just a quick reminder to, to our guests here in the listening room, just to please keep your voices to a minimum. Um, but that being said, please help me welcome this lovely band to the stage. Tonight we have Kush Avenue on the drums. Tyrone Allen on the bass. trio tonight on piano is Sullivan Fortner. Uh, yeah, congratulations. Um, all right. Um, so, um, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, Happy all of the stuff, Happy Holidays. Um, we're going to play a mixture of holiday music, and this will be sort of a tribute slash my version of a memorial concert for the late Barry Harris. Um, so I'll give you a story. Um, this was like 2010 or 2011, I think it was somewhere around there. Uh, Roy Hargrove was playing at the Village Vanguard, and uh, it was my first time playing there. And I had a friend of mine named Rodney Kendrick, who heard me one night, and he told me, you better take your black ass to go see Barry. <laughs> and I said, well, why? I mean, I didn't want to go back to school, you know what I mean? Um, he was like, you just need to go over there, and you need to sit you need to listen to everything that he says. So I went to a class, and I was like, okay, yeah, it was cool, that's whatever. And, you know, my arrogant mind, I was just like, well, you know, you know, I, I, I've been to school, I got my master's degree at Manhattan School, and all of this stuff, and Rodney told me, he said, throw all of that stuff away, <laughs> and lay it at his feet. Once you do that, you will learn. So I made a decision and said, okay, I'm gonna go to Barry's class and I'm gonna say I know absolutely nothing and I'm gonna start from scratch with Barry. And I learned a lesson right then and there that when you're at the feet of a master or a grandmaster, what you know doesn't matter. You have to be willing to sacrifice and give up all of that in order to learn you know, from someone like him. And once I, do, once I did that, he showed me a whole world of stuff that I didn't understand. And uh, it took me, it's taken me up now to recently to realize just how valuable the things he had given me. Um, he will be greatly missed. Um, he would be greatly missed for me, for sure. Um, we're gonna start off with God rest ye merry gentlemen. This is something that I like to do also in memory of the great Roy Hargrove. 
And the last time I played with him, I played this song in this room. Um, so we'll do that right now for both of them.
song that um, I swear to God kicks everybody's butt <laughs> and I don't give a damn who you are what level you are you think you're on on this music rhythm changes kicks everybody in the ass <laughs> and every jazz musician says amen <laughs> every I mean are y'all are y'all kidding <laughs> I mean is it just me or is the rhythm changes like one of the hardest things in the world to play you know, I mean, for me, it's the fifth bar. <laughs> you know, that first that first seven that just pops out of nowhere, that one seven? Horn players, y'all know what I'm talking about? Well, maybe it's just me. Okay. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm stupid. Okay. All right. Um, Yeah. 
step up, Chris. <laughs> Yeah. 
Give you a story. So I was I was had the great fortune of playing in his in his uh in his class one time. And after the class was over, we were coming down the elevator and we were sitting in his car. We ended up sitting in this car listening to Bud Powell playing Charlie Parker. And he was sitting there heckling him the whole time. You know, it was it's, if, if you ever got a chance to listen to music with Barry Harris, that was something interesting. He was sitting there talking to talking to Bud like, all right, how you gonna get out of this one? Oh, uh, you skated out of that one. Oh, uh, you messed up. Oh, that was good. Ooh, did you hear that? And he would come. He would say, Sullivan, come sit next to me. I want you to hear what he's doing and to watch him just interact with Bud Powell or something special. Uh, so I would challenge all of you musicians to um, just have that kind of sincerity and that kind of heart, that type of questioning and that type of inquisitiveness in the music. You know what I mean? While constantly giving back, because I learned a lot listening to that and watching him do that. That also a story I'll never forget, a story will always stay close to my heart. But anyway, anyway, thank you all so very, very much. Yeah. Thank you, Sons and Partners. Peace, love, soul. Yeah.
starting at uh, 10.30 with uh, Sean Mason and Gibson Jones. So if you want to join us for that, it's going to cost you one more drink. But let's give it up one last time for the Sullivan Fortner Trio. Ooh. 